All right, so here's another, uh, not really a how-to, but kind of a product alert, I guess you could say. Um, so my projector is going to be right there, and the road is right there, and the screen is right here. Well, I want this projector to be heard in those cars. So for that amount of distance, I'd say it's probably about 30 feet. Maybe maybe 50 if you go out to the actual roadway. 50 to 70 feet. Yeah probably more like 50 feet yeah but, but you know between the projector and the middle of the road so my idea was well obviously let's get it let's let's get an fm transmitter the problem is fm transmitters are usually 60 to 100 bucks for a good one well i don't need it to go to the next street over or way down over there in the park or whatever i need it to go from here to right there so i looked on amazon and i found this little transmitter for it was used for 10 bucks but it was regular price $14 so what it is is it's this little guy right here and it's this uh, Scotia and of course I'll put the link in the bottom there uh, but it's an FM transmitter and you pick the different uh, you know um, FM station that you want obviously one that is not playing music uh, because that can get you in trouble this is FCC compliant there is a number that comes with it and that has been checked and it is it is legal uh, there is an on off switch it takes two AA batteries uh, and there's the FCC number right there or the thing um, I it's an FMT uh, 4-1. What I am going to actually do is I am going to attach um, they said it will last for days on these AA or the AAA batteries, but I think I'm going to uh, plug it in uh, and use those battery replacers uh, that plugs it into a 12 volt outlet, you know, type thing um, the wall work. But so from right here to my car is about the same distance. If you look from right here and you look back, that's about the same distance from there to there. So let's go over. So it's playing XM radio right now from my phone. I'm setting up my display, so. It's a little staticky. See, it's on 90.1. But that's pretty good bass though, too. So I don't want to get copyrighted anyways. Um, that's, that's nothing more. Anyways, um, so what i'm going to do is i found that different placements of this will actually work i was actually standing over there and it still worked um the higher up you go the more it will transmit so i happen to have a 12 foot skeleton right there <laughs> so i can run an audio cord from that all the way over there and up his leg and put it in his hand or something <laughs> um you could put it up on a pole, so I could put it up on the top of the projector here. I could put it on the roof, but I don't want to have that long of a cord. So I figured, or even I, I could even put it on top of that tree right there um, and just run a cord from there to there and up the tree. Um, and then just tell people what station to do it in. That projector screen will just be playing movies and carolers. It'll be on a speaker, um, so people can roll down their window and hear that if they want to. Um, this will have a speaker as well, and it'll be over here somewhere, probably behind this tree, so that people can hear it that way too. So, so this is the box that it came in. As you can tell, it's been opened, but uh, it's a tune-in universal wireless FM transmitter, uh, 20 frequencies, uh, works with all these different types of things. Obviously, it works with anything with an audio out. Uh, you can obviously play it in your car as well, so you can use this after Christmas or Halloween and do that. Uh, obviously, the phone's not included. Uh, and it does these transmitting signals. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just keep select, keep hitting the button until you get to that color, uh, you know, that it's colored up there. Um, so it basically does 88s, 90s, 106s, and 107s. Um, so here's the thing. It does say range of 10 feet. Uh, in use up to 15 hours, standby up to 45 days. Uh, it does have a built-in uh, uh, antenna, uh, undistorted audio input, uh, I don't know what that means, but anyways, um, so you can, you can obviously increase the range of the, by that 10 feet, that was way more than 10 feet from where I was standing to, the, to my car, um, is that you would put it up higher. Um, in one of the reviews on the Amazon thing, uh, it actually said that this guy used it for a church. 
uh, he put it up high on a pole in the church uh, for the parking lot for, for COVID. And so he could put it up, you know, put it up on a big old tall pole, 15, 20 foot pole. And maybe even the metal helped with pushing this, pushing the sound as well. But everybody in the parking lot could hear it clear as day. So the higher up you go and obviously the, the less impedance. So don't put it like behind the hay bale and expect it to go out to there. It's not going to. So my idea is that I'm going to put it on the out facing part of either the skeleton or the tree. Um, I may even, I'm, I'm going to try it in front of, in front of the projector box. Um, and cover, you know, put over the something over the top to keep it from getting wet. But, um, I think, putting it on the skeleton might actually be the kind of the coolest thing. I might be able to hide it underneath his, his uh, shoulder blade there or something and put it in front of that so that it would sit underneath that, but it would still be hanging down, but it wouldn't get wet. So I think I might try that first. Um, so that's a quick little uh, FM transmitter to project one piece of audio from your display out to your street. Uh, you can obviously use this for Halloween or for Christmas. Um, but I'm going to use it for Christmas so I can get the sound from that projector out to the street. All right.